Hello and welcome back to the Hellfire Commentary's dramatic reading of My Immortal. Chapter 21. A.N. Fook, you okay, you fucking suck. It's not my fault if it's spelled wrong, okay, cause that big ravern, cause it fuck you preps one. Whoops, sorry Raven Fangs for the help. BTW, Transylvania Rocks, Harad, one. I even got to go to the Kazel, where the Drucula was flimmed. Lots of X's, 666, lots of X's. Later, we all went into the skull. Draco was crying in the common room. Draco, are you okay? I asked in a gothic voice. No, I'm not, you fooking bitch, he shouted angrily. He started to run out of the place in a suicidal way. I started to cry because I was afraid he would commit suicide. It's okay, Nobby, said Vampire comfortly. I'll make him feel better. You mean you'll go fuck him, won't you? I shouted angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Draco, please come, he began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. I was so turned on because I love sensitive bi guys. If you're a homophone, then fook off. And then, dot, 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 we heard some footsteps. Vampire got out his black invincibility cloak. We both got under it. We saw the giant uh, Mr. Norris there, shouting angrily with a flashlight in his hand. Who's there? He shouted angrily. We saw filth come. He went under that invisibility cloak and started to meow loudly. Is anyone there? yelled Mr. Norris. No fuck you, you preppy little poser son of a fucking bitch, Vampire said under his breast in a disgusted way. Excuse me, excuse me who said that, yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Filth, is there anyone under the cloak? he asked. Filth nodded, and then... Vampire Frenched me. He did it just as... Mr. Norris was taking off the cloak one. What the? he yelled, but it was too late, because now we were running away from him. And then we saw Draco crying and busting into tears, and slitting his wrists outside of the school. Draco, I cried, are you okay? I guess, though, Draco weeped. We went back to our coffins, frenching each other. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid. See, isn't that deprising? What? On the gothic red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my eyes rolled up and I suddenly had a vision of something that was happening now. There was a knock at the door, and Fug and their mystery of magic walked into the school! One. End of chapter. My, wasn't that just wonderful? Join us next time for chapter 22. Bye-bye.